That severe weather threat does shift to the east on Wednesday. More vicious storms likely for much of the Mississippi area, Mississippi Valley. More on the uh, more than a dozen confirmed tornadoes struck last week, and the National Weather Service investigators found EF1 damage here in Holmes County. Look at all of the destruction out there. Uh, just tough to see. And yet, as we go into the week ahead, some areas may see more in the way of severe weather. As Amy was just talking about, some of this could happen during the afternoon and evening hours. New Orleans for the next six, uh, six days, rather, Pretty warm out there today, 83 degrees or so. You've got some warmer conditions, feel a little more humidity once we go into Monday and Tuesday, staying with those mid 80s and a little more cloud cover. Humidity starts to ramp up. We've got the storms rolling through. Could see some of those evening thunderstorms by the time we get into Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday. I think we're in the clear. So the buoyancy does get a little weaker over this portion of the country, uh, as probably stronger over places like Texas, but we're still going to have the strong mid and level, mid and high level winds then could see some of the severe thunderstorms really fire off. Also have the chance to see some of those producing, of course, the cloud to ground lightning, the strong for some strong winds as well. That could be a major concern for us as we move into, say, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, especially Wednesday evening into Thursday. Here's the chance for the severe uh, storm threat. Very likely in portions of Tupelo, Jackson, over to Hattiesburg, you see guys, a lot of Mississippi yet again, the western half of Alabama, and it does include uh, Louisiana as well. The larger scope of it does extend for a good portion of uh, the Gulf Coast states. Future track at 12 o'clock Wednesday morning. Here comes the system right over Texas. You see the moisture getting fed on it. You can see how all the lines are coming together, the winds right where the line's going to set up. This is Wednesday, 10 o'clock. The system tracks over to the east. By the time we get into Thursday, moves through, and that line holds pretty well together. That's where I think we could get some of that thunderstorm development, especially the supercells, and those supercells could produce uh, tornadoes, could also see the strong straight line winds, which would be another major concern with these, especially into that fourth day. Severe storm threat does continue, and now it does include portions of uh, Philadelphia uh, into New Jersey, a good southern half of New Jersey, right along the Del Marva into North Carolina. Uh, so we're going to see even Raleigh in this area as we go into Thursday. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.